Hi pals, welcome to my channel, Mood Budgets. This is my journey from being skint, living wage to wage, overdrafts, credit cards, you name it, to being a bit more savvy with money, a bit more in control and a bit more aware of where, what I need my money for. Today we are going to do a cash stuffing. Uh, we are going to cash stuff £180. Now £30 of that has come out of my budgeting envelope. Um, I am no longer going to use this. Um, if I do decide that I want to buy um, something from Etsy, which I will, I'm just looking for the right perfect thing, then I will um, put it into my budget and allow for it. But yeah, I'm just not using it and it's £30 that I could use and put towards something else. For now, I've gone through all of my other um, categories and they are all still in use and they're all still needed. Um, all of these ones here. The only one that isn't really needed is my challenge, but that is going towards a slow burner for my house deposit. Um, <coughs> if I was to ever buy my own house. Um, so all the rest are ones that i will need and use at some point within the next year or so um when they get to the right amounts um so yeah so that was the only one that really was kind of not being used and not the money was just going to be sitting there indefinitely so i thought i'd put it to good use and put it somewhere else so what i have done is i have added it into my budget here so sinking funds put the 30 pound in and it's coming back out here in the 130 which is going to be shown over here so that's my cheat sheet pop that to the side zoom you back out just a fraction and we will count our money so we should have 180 pounds in total so let's see 20 40 60 70 80 90 1 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. I will probably need to do a little bit of jiggery pokery with this money and um, switch things out as we go, but hopefully I will get it right and we won't be left with any money at the end or worse still, be missing money at the end. So let's see how we go. So first things first, we're going to start with our sort of daily spends or weekly spends. Um, yes, there is some envelopes in here that I'm not using, but I know that if, the minute I take them out of here, then I will need them. So they're going to stay. So this is the Filofax Zafiano um, Compact Organizer, it's called. You can see it on here that I've been using. Uh, it's been great so far. Uh, perfect for what I need. It is big and it is a bit bulky, but I do like a big and bulky purse, so um, it's fine. Um, and yeah, I'm loving it. So I got this gifted from Penny Pinching Mum UK, and I just love it. And it's so nice of her to do that for me. So I've got my um, uh, envelope for receipts. Now I scan all my receipts onto these apps so that I can get some money back at the end of the month. Always good. My spending is going to get five. So that is for if I was just to want anything while I'm out and about. Um, when I've been wanting sort of like a juice or something, I have been using my grocery money if I've got any left. So that's kind of why that's not being spent, if that makes sense. Etsy postage is going to get £10. I have a few parcels to post tomorrow. Um, miscellaneous is going to get £5. Again, this is just for in case of anything, you know, that I haven't budgeted for. The last time I used my miscellaneous was to post a parcel for birthday presents. Plan spending, I have no plan spending this week. Um, working money, I'm going to put £10 in. I'm so delighted to not spend any money this week whilst working. We just went shopping instead. Um, no coffee, so that was good. Saved me a little bit. And I'm going to start putting money into my electric. Now, I still have money on my key from when I totally went crazy and put so much in before the price hike. But, and obviously there's going to be another price hike in October. And 
um, at some point between now and October, I'm going to start putting money into the electric. So I'm going to just start putting some money together for that. If this gets too full, I will take this little envelope out and put it into one of my binders for safekeeping. Um, but it's fine there for now. So that is my weekly spend. We will then go on to our short term variable kind of envelopes. So beauty is going to get 10. And that leaves us with 10, 20, 35. I'm going to take two of these 10s out and put 20 in because I've got 120 too many. So that will work for there. Clothing is going to get five. So that gives us 20. 40, 50, 55, 60. And again, I'm going to take these two fives out and pop a 10 in. So that should still be 60, 20, 40, 50, 60. I do still have my sheen order sitting in my basket and I keep looking at it and thinking, oh, should I, should I not? Um, so the longer I put it off, the better because I'm obviously not needing the things that I think I'm needing, I would like to get, but hey ho. Treats, I'm going to put some money in today, so I'm going to put £10 in. Um, this is usually kind of for a takeaway or whatever um, for myself and my other half, but because we're going on holiday, we're going down to England, hopefully it'll be nice and sunny, so we might need some ice creams and things like that when we're out with the kids, so we're going to bulk this up just a little bit, so that'll be in addition to our holiday spends, if that makes sense. Um, gifts is going to get 10. So in gifts we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. I do have some Father's Day things to buy. Um, I was kind of putting off. I didn't know what I was going to buy, but I've seen a couple of things now that, to get for my dad. He's pretty much done and my boyfriend, I get him things from the dog. So um, I've seen some things I'm going to get him, so that's fine. Dog groom, she got her hair cut on Monday there and oh, I wasn't overly happy with it. She still needs some bits, they've missed bits, but I think she was maybe a bit grouchy. I think I'd left her just a bit too long and she was maybe a bit matted, so it was a bit sore when she was getting um, clipped. So I need to be a bit more aware of that for her and hopefully the next clip will be better. If it's not, we will just find another groomer because... There's no point in paying £40 to then have to touch up myself when she comes home. So there's £25 in that. Groomers are not so easy to find up here. You still have to travel to them. The one that's local to me is Chock-a-Block Fool. Um, so it's, yeah, not going to get her into that. Um, £50 is going in to Weekend Away. So that is the £30 that I took out of my budgeting envelope. So there was £30 in there, so um, that's from that. And then we'll put £20 in extra from um, just this wage, basically. So that's 50 So we've already got 100 in there. And we also have 20 40 60 80 200 20 40 50 60 70 80 280 So I will take... A uh, hundred pound out of this just now, um, and put it into the bank tomorrow, into my hyper jar, and change out the um placeholder, just because I just don't like having a lot of cash, and I know some people like you know the counting of the notes, but I just don't like having a lot of cash in the house. Um, I just feel it's safer if it's in the bank. Car maintenance isn't going to get anything, but as most of you know, we have a thousand pounds in the bank of mum. Um, she's looking after that for me in her bank, and we've also got twenty pound, and that's just in case I need anything myself while I'm not near my dad for him to fix it. It's unlikely I will ever need it because normally I would just say, "Dad, I need this," and he would order it, and it would be done the next time I was down. But you never know; it might be an emergency for it that I need it, access to it. House is going to get £10 this week. And this is building up quite nicely as well. So we've got 100 in there. And 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. 190. 
really happy with that so that is going towards new flooring once i get the new flooring it will start to go towards sort of bigger appliances like a washing machine and a tumble dryer unless they go prior to that and then if they do go prior to that then i have my emergency fund so roll over and back to back are empty so now we'll go on to our annual savings and our long-term savings so we have Christmas is going to get £10 this week. So Christmas has already got 200 in and then we've got 20, 30, 40. Which is brilliant. I really do just like having some money saved up now for Christmas. It's just a great feeling to know that I can get all the little ones, just a wee thing, if that's all that money would allow um, at Christmas time. You know, I've already got that money sat there for, for them. And obviously I'd like to get them something bigger. Uh, I don't have any children of my own to spoil, so I do like to spoil the kids at Christmas. But, you know, you've got to work within your means, which is not something I've done usually. So having that £200, £200 there is really good. Bet fund is going to get five, so that gives us 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 200. Brilliant. Again, hopefully I'll not have to use this for a very, very long time, but it's good to have that bulked up and ready to go. Car insurance. Now, this is actually car insurance for 2023 that I'm doing because we have or 600 saved, ready for the car insurance payment in July. So um, hopefully I'll get it for under £600, but we'll see. But anyway, we've got five there and we're going to add another five. So that leaves us with 610. Any change left over from the 600, if there is any, and fingers crossed there is, we'll just go back into the envelope. Car tax isn't getting anything, but we do have our £200 placeholder in there, ready for paying in July. And emergency is going to get £10 this week. Emergency has 1020 40 60 80 95 £1,095. I'm going to try and get this up to 1,500 and then I'll probably put a pause on it uh, and then bulk up other envelopes that need doing um, unless I have to dip into it and then obviously I will just keep stuffing it. And then we have our McMoo challenge which I have already coloured in for timing and I've got adding £10 so this little cow here is the one I coloured in. And um, we have 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 210. So yeah, that is going towards our, my, our, unless anybody wants to come live with me, that's going towards a house deposit for um, buying a house at some point eventually in my life. But at my age, Chances are quite slim that I will actually buy a house. So if I don't buy a house, it'll go to something else. So that is our cash stuffing. We're left with no money, which is good. I was a bit worried that I would do something wrong there. And I have filled out my tracker for my sinking funds. I, am, I must cut it out and put it in the book. It'd be a lot easier. And yeah, so that is us for this week. I am... Any questions, please feel free to ask. If you want to ask me privately, jump over to Instagram and you can message me over there. It's still my budgets. Um, and so, yeah, have a good Sunday. Um, I might post this tomorrow, Monday, uh, instead of today because I've got another one to go out today. But if I do post two, you're lucky. And if I don't, then you'll be luckier, luckier tomorrow when you have another one to watch. Anyway, take care. Have a good day. Bye.